Okay, we'll follow that bill. Look at this. Outside the Garfield County Courthouse, 289 wooden figures representing children abused in the county in 2021. And tonight, just a few steps away, a town grieves the senseless death of a two-year-old girl. News 9's Angelicia Bruton spoke with the little girl's loved ones about her life cut short. Angelicia? Folks from near and far gathered here in downtown Edith to celebrate the life of Kalia Guyton, a two-year-old that was killed earlier this week. This display sits on the front lawn of the Garfield County Courthouse, bringing awareness to child abuse. Each face represents a victim of abuse. Kalia Guyton is now one of them. Her mother, Chelsea Guyton, says she's heartbroken. Kalia was very unique. Um, she was smart. She knew her ABCs. She knew how to count. She knew her colors, her animals. I'm going to miss everything about her. Two-year-old Guyton was raped and killed at an Enid hotel. Near the hotel's front doors now sits a memorial. Stuffed animals and balloons to honor her short life. Guyton was not from the town, but folks in the community are wrapping their arms around one another after hearing the tragic news. There's no winners here. That, it, it's sad. It's really sad, and we're praying for everybody concerned, even the family of the accused, because there's a rampant sickness that needs to be addressed. Candles were lit, and bikers revved their engines to honor Guyton's life. Many who attended wore pink, Kalia's favorite color. I love you, baby girl. Loved ones say the one thing they'll always remember is her joyful spirit. Whenever we heard the news, we just bust down. This is just a farewell, not a goodbye to Kalia. She was a bright light in a dark world. Bright, bright light. She really was. Everywhere she went, she just lit up a room. Michael Geiger was charged with Guyton's death. Geiger is facing first degree murder, rape, kidnapping, and burglary charges. You can find more information on how to help the family on the News 9 app. Live in Enid, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.